Hello everybody, my name is Mathis and welcome back to the Long Dark Challenges, the Nomad Challenge. We're gonna resume, people gave me some very useful tips that I was not aware of. Um, and we're gonna see if I can put them to use. First, um, first, 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 let's go ahead and light this. Apparently, in the barn itself, which is where I am, um, there is, I wanna pick this up. Pick up. Uh, there is a mm, fire burning barrel that I can use, and I also supposedly can't. Oh, it's right fucking here. I can also supposedly sleep in the truck. Uh, so that's both good. They're right in my face. That's that makes me sad and also hilarious. Um, so if I can I sleep in the back? Where do I sleep? There's a piece of cloth in there. There's some tools, which is useful. Here, let's, uh, let's extinguish this fire. And let's... How do I... Wait. How do... <laughs> how do I live without you? But no, moreover, how do I sleep in this thing? I don't understand. Can somebody explain to me how I sleep inside this thing? Campcraft crafting. Um, let's go ahead and light a match. Fuel cover. All right, that didn't do anything. I'm not sure how I sleep in this thing, honestly. I believe you when you tell me it's powerful. Uh, it's possible. I'm just not sure how possible it is. Lantern fuel. We desperately need that. Um, let's go ahead and fill it. Maybe it just automatically fills. I can't remember. Actually, you know what? Might have to drop some gear. How are we looking on weight? Pretty bad. I'm just gonna have to use my bedroll, man. It's just gonna have to happen. Which fucking sucks, but I just don't know... I don't know how else to do it. No. Alright. Let's start passing the day here. Well, pass time. If I gotta eat, I'll, I'll eat what I can. The, 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 I hate passing time, though. Like, it takes a hundred years to pass time. It doesn't go nearly as fast as it does when you sleep, which sucks. However, with a burning fire barrel, I'm not really all concerned with that uh, that much with the water situation. We have plenty of time to just melt water, which we may do come morning. I'm gonna see how long I can get. I can't go very much longer is the answer, actually. Um, why don't we drink some soda? Because it's gonna drop our hunger as well. So let's knock these out, save the rest, and keep passing time. I just gotta get through the days, man. I just gotta get, oh fuck, I forgot to pop up in the map. All right, gonna worry about getting through the days here first, then I can I can do some editing and I can pop up in the map and not have to worry about it. Ooh, it is nasty out there. Let's go ahead and drink. Oh, it is so windy out there, holy crap. That is crazy sounding. Well, we can sleep for 10 hours and we should be fine. Is it... Wait a minute, what? Why are we awake? Less than an hour of darkness left. Let's pop two hours through here real quick. And then we can take a look at our journal and then we can continue doing what we're doing. So we just need one more day here. I think we can make this work. Why don't we take the day, though, to... Let's see. Fire barrel, perfect. I want a book. We don't want a fire starter, I just want one of these matches. 
And we'll see if we can get a good fire going here. Uh, there's plenty of wood lying around in the barn that we can then fuel this fire with. We'll melt some water. Not a lot, but just enough. Um, and I'm going to cook up the beans and so on. So I think, I think we're, again, I think we're in a very, very, very good spot right now. And burning the books is nice too because the books are bring, weighing me down by like six point something pounds. So one book should be a pound off uh, my, my carrying capacity. And with how much I'm carrying because I'm a paranoid freak, that's a, that's a good thing. Turned out pretty well. It sure fucking did, good sir. It sure fucking did. All right, let's, uh, let's fuel a little bit there. We can pop another book down. This, this surprisingly gives very little light. 30 minutes to break it down. How much do we, how much time do we have on this? 36 minutes. Not anymore. Let's burn another book. Can I please just break down, there it is, crate. We're gonna take all four of these and throw them all into the fire. I want to I basically want to do as much as I can here and I don't expect to carry reclaimed wood with me it's pointless uh, so we're gonna melt about 0.4 snow and then we're going to go ahead and let's boil that Okay, so we got enough water that I'm not concerned anymore. Um, why don't we cook the tomato soup and eat this? It's dusty tomato soup, but I'm really not all that concerned about dusty tomato soup, if I'm honest. Alright, and let's eat that, because we are, you know, peckish. Do I want to crack open and cook the beans? It's 600 calories. We may as well. I think the next place we go, I'm going to have to... I'm going to have to start doing some hunting. I may... Mm, it's tempting to go out there and do some hunting right now, but I'm not going to. Pop 600 calories. Drink some water. We've got dog food if we need it. We spent a lot of time just doing normal stuff, which is good. So let's go over here. Uh, 10 hours of daylight left. Let's go ahead and keep... Let's burn that 10 hours. I think we're going to be all right. I, I feel confident at the very least. And I, I really do think the next place that we go, we, we have to start hunting. Um... I think a deer will probably get us through. If we can find one deer, we can gut it for what it's worth. As long as it's near shelter, we could probably kill and just not even take the guts. Just take the, the meat off of a deer and it'll probably get us pretty far. I'm pretty confident in that. So let's go and eat this. Less than an hour of daylight left. Let's just go ahead and just pass the time. And then we go through 10 hours of darkness as we do. I'm telling you, I'm, I'm hungry IRL. I'm ready for a sandwich, my man. I'm ready. All right, let's burn this a uh, couple of hours here. And let's take a look at our journal. 2.9 days. Let's take uh, another two hours. And I'm, I'm pretty confident this is going to be enough. We're good. Okay. With that done, we go in here, we drink some water. And we got to pick up our pack. Alright, and we got to head out. What I want to do, though, real quick, because I need to get the map open. Where's the way out? I don't think I want to take anything else out of here. Let's get out of the barn. Take a look at the temperature. Ooh, 
smooth as a deer. Why don't we make this count? Do we want to hunt deer now? It's negative one out. It's not that bad. We don't have a ton of food. I think we wait. I think we wait. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a quick save here. And the way I'm saving is going in and out of a building. When you go into a building, the game auto saves. We're 10 minutes in. I'm going to cut the recording here. I'll, I'll be right back. I just got to open the map. Okay, so uh, I've got the map open. And the next place I'm going to go to is the rural store, which is also in Pleasant Valley. Uh, that's where we're going to go next. Now, I'm actually pretty confident that the rural store is going to be great for us. So the thing is I need to go across a bridge and then just follow the road, essentially. Um, if we can find the bridge, which I think... I think that's Contemplative Bridge over there, and that's where I'm going to go. I don't want to hunt yet. This is just going to be a trek right now. Mainly because if I hunt now, it's going to, it's going to eat up weight, and it's going to exhaust my character even further. Why don't we see what's in here? I'll take an accelerant, like, that's great that there's cedar wood and stuff here, but this is not a normal survival situation. To be honest, this would be a great place to just hunker down in a, in a sandbox game. So I'm gonna go over here. And see where this leads me. It's zero degrees, which isn't that bad. It's actually the wind that's killer. It makes it look a lot colder than it is. Hi, Maya. What you doing, girl? Just stretching? So, I think... I think that's Contemplative Bridge. And I'm gonna go over that bridge over there, which is where I need to go. But first, let's do a quick food grab. If we can... Don't really care about newsprint. Am gonna concern myself with wolves while I'm out there. Still eat this. Energy bar is absolutely fantastic. Don't really care about the newspaper. Let's keep moving. Those little bars, those little snack bars, that's majorly, majorly important for me. If this says, like, I don't know if it'll tell me, but if this is the bridge I think it is, then I, I'm pretty sure we're going this the right way. And if I'm not, well, oh well, I guess. Wait, I don't think I'm going the right way. <laughs> I'm going the wrong way. That is Contemplative Bridge, but it's the wrong way. I need to go, I need to go this way. I'm like 90% certain this is the right way now. Pretty sure. I'm hoping. And yes, I did hear the bird squawking above, which means another weather change is coming, but I'm hoping that the weather change was merely the wind stopping, which it did. But the sky is looking a little on the gray side. So there's the barn. There's the other bridge. Okay, that's deer. I heard. I knew I heard crunching of snow that was not coming from me since I'm on the road. I think, I think I'm on the main road right now. I'm, I'm pretty positive I'm on the main road right now. This is Contemplative Bridge. Okay, I am now going the right way. So if I just follow this road up into the next bridge, um, so I'm going the right way now, right? Okay. 
All right, if I just follow this road, I should be fine. Like this road should lead me directly to the rural store, which in that area, there should be a bunch of buildings, or at least a few buildings that I can uh, maybe loot. And then we can start planning our stay at this. And you know, it may be worth it to attempt hunting a deer along the road. It shouldn't be that long of a walk. That was a fucking headshot. Holy crap. That was amazing. And the other reason this is good to hunt now too is because it's 18 degrees out. So we're not going to get too cold too fast. Oh, that felt so good. We're just taking the meat. We're just going to take the meat. Um, I'm going to take 11 pounds of it. This pack is getting kind of heavy. And we're just going to move from there. It's a lot. I understand that, but I got to do what I got to do. We have a lot of ammo, and, th and in that, I am feeling more confident. We have ammo. So there's another bridge up ahead. Which worries me. Unless near that bridge, there's also the building. The fuck? Beautiful music. I think I think I see the rural store up ahead actually. But I swear I heard like snarling. Maybe I'm crazy, but I swear I heard snarling. Yep, I'm in the right spot. Holy crap, we fucking made it. Holy shit. Rural crossroads. And this, I'm assuming, because that looks like a house. This must be the rural store. Oh my god, I did it! I headshotted. Everything's gonna... Everything's gonna be okay, man. Um, I'm gonna have to... There's nowhere here to cook. And I don't think I'm allowed to make a fire here. Yeah. So m maybe the house over here I'm allowed to? Let's take a look. If not, I'm gonna have to cook outside. Which is not a big deal. Because I can also leave the food outside. This is a freaking wreck. This is a dead dude here. Well, the problem is, dead sir, is that you had nowhere to freaking cook. So, uh, I understand why you died. Alright. So, the challenge in this particular building is gonna be cooking, and I'm gonna need to cook outside. Because that house there is busted down. There's a beautiful waterfall here. Just seeing if there's anything out here, like, um, a fire barrel or something, but at the very least, I can, if there's a, if it's a windy day, well, I'll probably end up cooking very soon, actually, but if we needed to cook and it was a windy day, we could just pick a side of the house that will shelter us from the wind. Regardless, this is where I'm wrapping up the episode. I think this is a good stopping point. We will survive next episode here at the rural store and then start making our way to the next spot. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.